Hey, good morning. Welcome to another episode of G3 Sportsman. Today, get to be the host, which is always fun for me. We are going to be going after some crappie today, and we're going to be chasing them in a way that I kind of do when I'm bass fishing. Kind of looking for these fish that are cruising into these rivers. Um, they're really not going to be in any specific place. They're really going to be everywhere. So live scoping is going to be key. Making good casts is going to be key. We're going to have a little bit of wind. So putting those pinpoint casts on top of their nose is going to be key today. So I'm going to try to make lots of casts and we're going to try to catch some, catch some crop before you guys. So come along with us. I'm going to, I'm going to put Scott behind the camera and uh, hopefully catch some fish. So no bananas in the boat that I know of. We've done the sweep and uh, we're gonna be taking off here shortly. We got a little bit of a drive, so come along with us. Okay, we've made it down here. We're here at Bull Shoals. We've down here at the Theodosia area and we're getting ready to put the G3 in. Been a long ride because all I've been hearing the whole way is somebody chirping in my ear thinking that he needs to, to be the host of this show. So I got a little surprise for him once we get on the water. So I don't know if he's gonna like it or not but he's just gonna have to live with it but we're fixing to get in the water and uh i think we'll have a good time so stay tuned we'll be out there at our first spot here in just a little bit and we'll see you on the water Well, you can see right here, there's, we got fish down here on the bottom, right here. And uh, Wes got the trolling motor in. So we'll just see how this goes. This is one of these deals, he found the fish. So let's uh, let's see if it works. A couple behind me, I'm falling just short of them. Yeah, they don't, they're, they're, they're coming to me though. Usually not. Come by that. Come around to me. Ready? There we go. Just like the other day, just pods of them. They'll eat when you get three or four like that. First fish of the day. There you go. Ice breaker. Not a not a real big one, but a good keeper cropper. Keeper. Yep. Keeper cropper. Cropper. Keeper cropper. Cropper. Cropper keep. First one on the party minnow too. Yeah, we, if you stay on when you can, like I catch them out of them groups and you, I get off, you stay on the group, they'll usually get two out of them. First crop, you guys. These fish in these groups out here, you kind of got to find the ones that eat. They're not all going to eat, but the ones that are in the pods of three or four in the middle of the water column, it's almost like you can call your shot. There we go. First pile. Fish number one. Okay, now I'm the left side. Don't be putting... Don't be trying to pull fish over to your side today. He's stalking it on me. Got him. Yes. Man, I. He stalked that thing, didn't he? I walked the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> he thought he was sneaky. I walked the bottom on that one now. Okay. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You keeping some? Yeah. I'll clean. How about that? There we go. Huh? That's fun. He thought he was sneaky, didn't he? <laughs> he did. He, he got said, down low. He said, oh. He was like one of your cats going in there. He said, I'm going to ambush. I'm going to ambush that dude. We'll try to catch a few more off. Okay. It. Well, as you can tell, we made a compromise. We're both fishing. <laughs> we have got, okay. GoPro here, you see this chesty. He's got a chesty. We've got one right here. This segment, boys, is brought to you by GoPro. GoPro. <laughs> this is gonna be a nightmare to edit with, with four cameras. <laughs> Better you than me, for sure. Going right over the pile here. Where are you at? I had to coax that last one. I mean, I went plumb to the bottom. Now there's some decent fish on the. You're way up high. I am. Yeah. Wait. Oh yeah, you're hung. Yeah, look. Do you see your line? Dead gummit. I was trying to find it. You won't go get it. We go cruising. Did you get it? Oh, he's on. He's on. 
<laughs> I thought I had a bite. He's on a big one too. I thought I had a bite. How about that? Huh? Look how pretty. Look at that. How many times does that happen? And it got it. Happen. Yeah, how about that? But not often. How about that, boys? Come on now. Ate it off the pile. That's I thought I had a bite. And then it hung the it hung the, it hung the brush pile. How about that now? Good looking crappie. Huh? Heck yeah. Nice. Alright. Briefly, let me tell you what's going on. We're up here off the river. I guess this is the river. Yeah, the little north fork, I yeah, believe. Yeah, little north fork. And off of Bull Shoals. And these fish are just working <coughs> their way in here to, you know, to their spawning grounds. And we're throwing these little six cents party minnows right here. This is what we're doing. And we're, Wes has found these fish the other day. And so these, they're in little groups. And they're just coming through here. They're feeding and just kind of slowly working their way back to their spawning grounds. And we're just spotting and stalking is what basically what we're doing. And it's, uh, so far, it's working pretty good. We ain't been out here five or 10 minutes. We've already loaded three or four. So, see if we can get out there and catch a few more. Yes, Got sir. Got him. I come up from behind. I come up from behind. I come up from behind them now. Another good little hat. That's, yeah. that's a hammer right there now. <laughs> How about that? Isn't this crazy? They're just out here, just in pods. Mm -hmm. Just out here in little pods. Just the opposite of me and Rick when we was on the little pods, but they were they were all in the uh, on the bottom. Mm -hmm. And these right here, all on the top. Finally get one. Yeah, take that, take that step so you can see your bait. <laughs> Black nose. Look at that. Black nose crappie. Yeah, good deal. They usually have it under their chin too. Why not? Or is that a unique? Look at it right in the, right in the top. Couldn't be more centered up. He didn't miss it. Party minnow. We've got what, five, six? Been out here just a little while. All right, guys, a little black nose crappie. Always a cool little bonus. We're live scoping, and anybody that's ever live scoping anybody knows it is frustrating. Scott's kind of getting a little frustrated because I can't keep him baiting the cone. It's hard, you know, you're either on the fish or you're on his cast. Well, I keep telling him he just needs to make better casts. Kills me. Hey, still, there's only two me though. Mm -hmm. There's fish all through there. So mm -hmm. I'm right through that body. Oh. Yes, sir. There you go. Make the right there one. you go. The right cast and making us earn it. What is it? Nice crappie. Nice, nice crappie. Nice good. Stay on that pot if you can. Should be another biter. Good crappie, Scott. Look at this yeah, hammer. I mean, a hammer. Look at this hammer. I know. I've, I've seen it. <laughs> I'm yes, sir. It. Come here. Come here, you big guy. Come here. Man, how fun is that? That's a good one. How fun is it watching them eat, catching 14 inchers, and on top of that, on a kite tech? Look at that fish. Big fish, big bait, baby. Look at this fish, guys. I hadn't really got to see him. Let me see him. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we should hopefully break that today on the kite tech, on a bass bait, because, of course, I got to work a little bass stuff into this crappie episode. We're working on something here. I think I just tied it up. Not that I'm keeping score. 
I, we got GoPros going off. That was me. That was me stopping. Oh, but I've got There's another one. Yeah, I'll get it up here and catch me some fish. Those are decent marks, so. Crop it, crop it, crop it. Yeah, there you go. I mean, a good, good fish anyway. Here we were giving up on it. Yeah, I ain't ready to give up my windbreak fish quite yet. I mean, just fish number seven in about an hour and 15. We're not spoiled or nothing. Well, he's hard to please. You know, you gotta remember I'm a bass guy. So, I ain't like a Jeff Falconberry crappie guy. Like, we can't do 30 fish by breakfast. There we go, that little black crappie. I don't know if we've had a white crappie yet, Scott, have we? Uh, no. Boy, this GoPro footage is cool looking, man. Just seeing it on the screen. And you're always on this side of the oh, GoPro. Yeah. Make it. Uh, I'm assuming. Oh, I burned out of there. <laughs> did he surprise you? Man. <laughs> he surprised Scott. He did. He's like, I don't see much. That's, that's got to be a white. That's got to be a giant crappie. Got to be a big old giant crappie. Crappie. Well, yeah. Look yeah. at the crappie. Here. He's swinging. Look at him. Big white. There we go. That's the first white crappie of the day in a dandy. I just said right we there. hadn't caught a white. This wind has really been a pistol on us right now. And uh, so <laughs> we're just kind of getting to where we can kind of get to where we can cast, get our little baits over there. And uh, as you can see, I mean, that's a that's a good thick crappie right there. First white crappie of the day too. Dandy, how about that? Let's catch a few more of these, what do you say? Damn cool. Got him? Maybe that was me in there, I don't know. Yeah, got him. Doesn't feel as big, but I believe it's a crappie. Jumping like a bass. Yeah, he is. It's a nice one too. Look how pretty it is in the mm -hmm. water. Good one. Better than I thought. Oh, look at him. Yeah, look, look at him just inhaling that. I tell you, look at that. That is no problem for that fish. Yeah, bigger crappie as these are. Another black crappie. Oh, you little pecker wood. There, you see, it? That <laughs> see, you just need your little troll motor guy up here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, there we go. Say they're all about that size in that group. Yeah, that's about what they are. Did you know? Good eating size right there. That's not the. That's not the, the big girls that we've been getting or whatever but nonetheless I mean 10 inch crappie I'm not going to complain not one bit my rod today I chose the 6.6 one piece ACC it's been perfect for me. this has got the cork handle and uh, it's really worked out really good for me I mean I've just been using an eighth ounce head with the uh, little 2.8 I almost forgot what's called what's it called again uh, party minnow. Party minnow, right here. Six cents. Six cents, and then the six cents head, this little Pico. It's got a little underspin on it. That's what I've been using. So that has been my rig today. These fish right here have just been a ball to catch on them. And uh, this, is, this is my setup right here. Got my Gorilla Grip gloves here. Thank you guys at Gorilla Grip. I'll tell you what, handling all these fish right here, that right there is... Uh, is a blessing to have them. So I'm losing my Kitex, so they're getting. Come on. Come on. Come 
He don't like it. I know I'm down there. I'm just gonna do the old the old ten count. I'm telling you air to the air to the side of being left. That was that group. <laughs> There's so many fish right there. <laughs> I'm telling you, we're just messing, we're missing our cast is the only thing costing us fish today. Yeah. That's it. Well, you're side scoping again. We're side scoping, man. And that's side scoping. You get again. to drifting and everybody's oh. casting sideways, trying to guess at the angles. Yeah, it's a deal. That side scoping is rough. And I can't find anything but black crappie, but I'll take them. Well, that's what usually we will catch around here. Pretty. Is, is uh, white. That one was right at the boat, too. Mm -hmm. Well, that's because we were. Running right up on him. Ooh, he's got cookies back here. No clue. You're right. See, there I am. Now watch. They should light now that we're coming this way on them. Yep, see? Yeah. Yes, sir. It helps when you can see it. <laughs> it, it really it's, does. It's about a foot left of that motor is what's throwing you off, and I'm just used to it. That transducer really wants to point left. It looks straight on there, and it is. Yeah, that's it. It, it helps. I mean, when you can see where how deep your bait is, it it dang sure helps. Cause I'm just in the abyss. Here we go, guys. Another keeper. We're gonna have us a little fish fry. So these fish, guys. What I'm finding personally is, if you can find a group of three in the mid water column, as as long as you can make a cast ten feet past them, and bring it over their heads six inches. It increases your your odds of getting bit a lot, which I know a lot of you guys know that, but especially right now. So the key today is making a good cast in this wind. So I'm actually throwing a three eighths ounce, three eighth ounce jig head here. So it helps me cast. Plus I'm doing braid to leader, so I can I can make a lot more long casts in the wind. I will say it's gonna be really tough with going with the wind. <laughs> yeah. See them two fish were out there. I'll be right here. Right I'll watch. I'll show you how to catch up there. <laughs> yeah, here he is. <laughs> Just do your little pitch. There you go. You went too far out. Oh, he'll money. be there. Money. He'll be there. I'm coming up the back side. Would you turn the boat around and let's find I love it. I love it. You guys hear Scott? This I is what I deal with. You. This is what I deal with out here. I gave up on it. That was so funny. <laughs> yeah, Pete, I know he's seeing. Trying to get him on Scott there. This is what I'm dealing with out here, they, folks. These fish were just coming right at us, coming right at us. Got my line trained with him. I hope he tips well. Look at that lateral line. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Sometimes you can just really see it. <clears throat> <laughs> That's funny. Let's see if I can head him off his path. Here I come over his backside. As you're coming down, who's he want? Who's he gonna hit? Nobody. Nobody. Me. Except Scott. <laughs> Nobody but me. <laughs> Good one too. Yeah, it feels yeah, like a nice one. Feels really like a nice really good one. And you, you can swing him. Pow! Look at that fish. Look at that fish. I mean, now on the Pico's head. Tell them, tell them the technique we're doing. Oh, now. it's. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> <laughs> we're drifting. <laughs> we're drifting. We're drifting with the current now. And when one comes in, like this one. Yep. You see him down there. Comes into view. We just throw to head him off. Yep. Because Wes was already chasing that fish. And so I I threw short and I caught him right here at the boat. Another good white crappie too. That's those whites second, in here are good. That's the second white crappie I've caught. I'm telling you, the other day those whites were showing out in size. See, we're we're adapting to our surroundings right now, is what we're doing. That wind is blowing so hard this way, so now we're just drifting with it. We're doing it for them. And, and that's right, we're actually doing it for you guys, is what we're doing. Good, another good fish. That's the second white crappie I'll have. Yep. <laughs> this is advanced scoping for sure. There you are, sir, get him. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, oh yeah, 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He turned around and got it. He come back. Did you see that? Just come back and got it. Good crappie. Good crappie, too. Black nose crappie. <laughs> Black nose. I don't have my chesty on, so I got yours. Black nose crap ass. Being selfish here, trying to double up. What's the only thing we hadn't done today? Which is surprising with these groups. Yeah, another black nose. Another black nose crappie there. Boy, he turned around and said, come here. He did, did he? He just come, he just come running at it. He didn't even give it, he didn't give the others a chance. We, we have caught these fish three different ways. We've been going into the wind, like you would traditionally do. We would throw beyond them and then bring them to, so then they come across their backs, right in the front, and then they come up and hit it. Then we've done what we've been laughing at today, side scoping. I would not recommend side scoping. What I mean by that is, <laughs> here's the wind blowing this way, but we're fishing this way. So everything's out to the side and that is tough. Then we've been drifting with the wind. We have to throw short of the fish so when the fish are coming this way, our bait's coming down, and boom, we're catching them. So three different ways we're doing this, but it seems to be working. And we didn't plan it this way. That's just what it is. We're not that smart. This is just what we've done. It seems to work, so I'm tickled with it. Oh. <laughs> Look at him. Ready. Oh, you got your chest. Oh, I got. Oh, mine. Yep, yep, so yep. Not even running, so you gotta... Off the pile. Another black crappie off this pile. Guys, Scott was just showing the pile. There's not a ton of fish in it right now. These fish are kind of swimming into this river, getting ready to spawn, and they'll hit those piles and, and stop. But, yep. All right, guys, so. You know how it is, you tell somebody, hey man, these fish are biting. And the pressure's on when you do that. So you try not to build it up too much, but it's the springtime, water temps are rising. Everything's been stable, you know, we haven't just been blowing out yet this spring. So I said, hey Scott, we got a bite going. And you know what, today's been a good day. It's been one of those days that worked out like it should. We've definitely had to get creative. We've had to do some swing scoping and drifting where we pendulum that bait right behind them. We've had to make 70 foot casts in the wind. We've, we've really done it all. We've caught them suspended. We've caught them on brush piles. But guys, springtime in Missouri, there's so many great things you can get out and do. Beautiful drive down here, almost to Arkansas, just on this side in the Missouri line. Check out g3boats.com. We're in the Sportsman 1910 today with the dual butt seat. And I'll tell you right now, this dual butt seat, when a guy asked me to go in his butt, I'm like, no, we're coming to mine because we can both lean on this post, catch some crappie. Like, subscribe, share it on social media, guys. Comment. We love engaging with you. Thanks for watching.